as a freshman started right away. Getting some early experience, and he's a true freshman. Logan misses it. Comes off the bench cold. It's the Flyers by one. Closing in on two minutes. Young to Dalibo. Now, if I'm Dayton, I go to Ashman. I work it around and go to Ashman. Dante Holland looks like a boxer with cotton stuck up his nose. Remember, he took a shot to the face last time down. Stanley for three. And it's Cincinnati basketball. If Dayton went to their mainstay on offense, their number one option, which is Stanley, had an easy shot. He just gets up so high in his jumper as well. Oliver Purnell urging on the troops. This would be a huge win for the Dayton basketball program. A year ago, they go to the NIT. 21 wins. Most wins in 12 years. This would certainly be their biggest win in a long, long time. And then Martin throws up the tough shot and it goes. See, it took dollar ball too long to help out. You got to double down on Kenyon Martin. He just kind of stood there. was slick. That's what they told the officials. So it's an official's timeout to wipe off the basketball. And they take one of the Gatorade towels. Hey, it's the Gatorade Rock and Roll Shootout, right? Why not? See, watch Martin. Now watch Dollar Ball on top of your screen. See how he's just standing there? You got to double down and help out. Too much space. Hey, Martin. It's an easy talk. Young throws up a tough shot and it won't go. Kenyon Martin pulls down the huge rebound. One minute to play, closing in on 60 seconds to play. I think Edwin Young was just shocked he was so wide open in the paint as he was. He just kind of threw it up there. Didn't need to rush that shot. Orton to Michael, a dangerous pass. They need to certainly need to stop right here. 10 on the shot clock, 44 in the game. Orton. Looking for somebody, anybody to help him out. There's a steal. The ball's tied up. Goes the way of Dayton. And that's the rule change this yeah. year. When the defense ties it up for a jump ball, it's rewarded to the defense. That's why it's now Dayton's possession. And that's exactly what Coach Hogan's is asking the official. If they get it simultaneously, it goes to the possession arrow. Determines which way it goes. But because the defense tied it up, it's Dayton's ball. So the Flyers will have the basketball. 38 seconds to play. You're watching the Gatorade Rock and Roll Shootout from ESPN Plus. Don't go away. And Glenn, the Flyers have the basketball. They're really getting one shot every time down. Whenever they miss, Cincinnati dominates it. As you look at the reset. Well, the important stat right there is that Dayton's got no full time outlets, nor do they have a 20 second time outlet. Cincinnati's got two, and that's big. That's why this segment right here is so important you got to discuss things you got to talk about offense now they get the ball and you got to also talk about defense and you got to talk about what happens if you miss and what happens if you lose so there's a lot going on in that huddle Levitt has struggled one out of ten from the field but he's an athletic guy plays good defense Kenyon Martin by the way 13 rebounds 18 points 13 rebounds is a Gatorade rock and roll shootout record the Flyers Looking for the upset. There's a three-second disparity between the game clock and the shot clock. Stanley gives off to Edwin Young. But they work for one shot to get inside of Stanley. That's blocked by Levitt. And a foul. Pete Michael will go to the line. Foul on Stanley. We talked about Levitt. That's why they had him in there. A tremendous block and a tremendous no foul by Levin. He just kind of waits there in the air. He had a cup of coffee, fixed his sock, <laughs> scratched his head, then he blocked it. Mm. What a great play. And Stanley had inside position, a great cut by Stanley. You talk about a guy using his athleticism at the right time. Still plenty of time for Dayton. Even if Michael should hit both, they can come down and tie it with a three. But they had a nice offensive set there for the open shot. Just couldn't finish. Something to be said for athleticism. Michael with a miss. It just showed how high Levitt gets up because 
He did pump fake him, and he went for it. It just didn't matter. He just stayed up in the air. Tied his shoe. <laughs> Michael on 72 straight in junior college. He's won 10 straight with the Bearcats. And timeout Cincinnati, and man, he's disappointed. He wanted both of those free throws. Two-point lead for the Bearcats. And Cincinnati calls the timeout, which allows now Oliver Purnell to really design a play. And it's going to be important right now for Oliver Purnell's team to really make sure that they recognize the full court pressure, Doug, because you got to expect Cincinnati's going to show at least three-quarter court pressure. But it's going to be important to make sure that they try to get the ball into either Stanley's hand or Ashman's hand, because if they don't, it's going to be a struggle situation. they got to also make sure that they get around the defense and make the play, because Cincinnati is going to try to speed them up. It's the Gatorade Rock and Roll Shootout at the Gund Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. Over 15,000 on hand for this afternoon's contest. First time in three years that Cincinnati and Dayton have played each other. For right. Dayton, Cincinnati is their oldest rival. Goes back to 1907. So talk about a special win. If they should pull it off, they got a shot now. Yeah, just a great opportunity to knock off the third-ranked team in the nation in state rivalry. But right now, especially with that block, the question that I, qu I would question for Oliver Pinnell is, do you go back to Stanley, who got a shot block by Levitt, or do you go to Ashman? And if I'm Oliver Pinnell, I go right to Ashman and let him operate or try to get fouled, because he has, got, he has that innate ability to lean and get fouled on the blocks, even though you're going up against Melvin Levitt, the shot blocker. There's Melvin, last time down. Dayton ran their set. Tony Stanley appeared to have a wide open layup, but out of nowhere, Levitt comes in from behind and blocks the shot. So many shot blockers on this Cincinnati team. Michael, Kenyon Martin, Melvin Levitt. Dayton has pressure. They give the ball into Stanley. He can, he can break you down. Stanley goes up. Will go. Ashman with a tip. The block by Kenyon Martin. And that's it. The Bearcats are still undefeated. 53-51 over Dayton. Defense. The main state. It's the mainstay. Kenyon Martin, arguably the best defensive player in the nation, just proves his worth once again. Not only did he block that shot, but he just altered the two shots before <laughs> that as well. So that was a segment of three shots by Dayton in which Martin was involved. Look how Stanley gets inside position. He gets it up. Look who bothers the shot. Kenyon Martin. He stays with the play. Kenyon Martin gets his hand on that one. And now the ball goes back up again. Martin blocks it at the buzzer. Game over. A terrific defensive segment by Kenyon Martin. 18 points, 13 rebounds, four blocks for Kenyon Martin. He is the MVP for Cincinnati as they remain unbeaten. 11-0, number three in the country. Again, the final, Cincinnati on top of it. 53-51 for Glenn Consor on Doug Bell. So long from the Gatorade Rock and Roll Shootout. The Bearcats are still perfect.